We've got to talk about this shop teacher up in Canada. I'm sorry, but it's getting even more bizarre. It, you guys know the story. So this, yeah. it, the, the, this, it's a biological man who goes by Kayla Lemieux. And uh, Kayla is up in Canada. And Kayla is the one who wears the enormous, fake, clearly prosthetic breasts with the clearly prosthetic, enormous nipples. Kayla looks absurd. No one is fooled that this is a woman. This is a biological man. Um, Kayla became a trans woman, I think, like 10 years ago, you know, late in life, and teaches shop up in Canada with those enormous prosthetic breasts inches away from the saw machines. <laughs> from sudden death. Not, it's not safe. It's not safe. <laughs> and now <laughs> Kayla is in the news because Kayla gave an interview to the New York Post. They have this exclusive interview with Kayla, and Kayla is denying that those are prosthetic breasts. <laughs> oh, give me a break. <laughs> no, no, yes. absolutely Kayla, not. No. Noting, these are real. This no. condition is classified as gigantomastia. <laughs> no. So now her, now her tits identify as real. <laughs> You can't make this up. <laughs> no, it's a hard no on yes. this. Hard Kayla no. says it's very rare. It's very oh. rare, this condition. It affects women on a very rare basis. But in my case, um, I have, now Kayla's claiming to be intersex, that Kayla says, oh. I have XX chromosomes as well as the XY, and hormone no. sensitivity <laughs> to estrogen has caused it. No, I'm just going to go no, right out no, and say, no, no. this is a big lie. This lie is almost as big as those fake big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> this is not true. Oh, my God. That's my opinion. <laughs> Don't believe you, Kayla. Oh, my gosh. Wait, is this serious? Like, this, the dude really yes. went on and had this interview this, and said this? This actually happened. Like and um, now there is an allegation that Kayla doesn't even wear her very real boobs when she is outside of the classroom. Oh, I the, did the see post, that. The Post talks about how yeah. um, there was somebody photographed by the Post just last week driving out of Kayla's apartment building and walking on a sidewalk a short time later. That person who was dressed in men's clothing and did not have breasts, never mind gigantomastia breasts. Look at this. This is the split screen. Oh my Come God. On. There's a lot going on on the screen. People... You need to go to YouTube to look at this later if you're listening. Bore a striking resemblance to Kayla and was identified by a neighbor as Kayla Lemieux. Now, Kayla mm -hmm. denies. Kayla is on the left with the enormous pink sweater breasts and whatever. And then this person <laughs> on the right, we believe is Kayla, according to the neighbor. But Kayla's denying that Kayla ever takes off the breasts because, again, they are 100% real. <laughs> mm -hmm. And here's the, where I'm going with this. Oh, my gosh. Um, if this is Kayla, if Kayla is actually a man outside of the classroom and puts on those enormous fake boobs to go into the class, Kayla is a sick person. Kayla has yeah. a sick sexual fetish. And Kayla should not be working with children. But mm -hmm. up in Canada, they're like, to each his own, live and let live. Don't mm -hmm. be such a bigot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a question. Do you think there's any chance that he is just the master troll? And he is trolling everyone with these big old fake boobs and taking these ridiculous interviews and making absurd claims just to troll everyone to show them how ridiculous this ideology is. Is there any chance? I'm praying or am that I just that's hopeful? true. <laughs> I'm hoping. If he weren't Canadian, I would say yes. That sounds yeah. like an American thing to do. <laughs> you know, the Canadians, they're not that way. They're kind of nice. I don't know. They, they're not trolls. Um, I think this is a sick person. And by the way, I think the jig would have been up by now. I think Kayla yeah. had already, already yeah. had enough yeah. press coverage. You know, the, the person would have come out. Um, but it's actually, I mean, it's like, it's it's getting actually insane. And listen to this by the New York Post with an amazing report because <laughs> Kayla sat down with the Post. <laughs> when asked about her prominent nipples, because we all know nipples like that do not exist in real life. They're like, the Lemieux declined oh, no. to answer. So this is where Kayla drew the line with the post would not, you know, the breasts, I guess, are real, but the nipples are, well, she, she Kayla wouldn't go there. <laughs> no. And, uh, no I feel Kayla like, says, <clears throat> this is body shaming. No, I feel no like, he, said, he said it was body shaming. This is all body shaming. All the coverage That's what of he Kayla said. and the, the coverage of how Kayla dresses in the mm -hmm. shop class. This is by bigoted body shamers as opposed mm -hmm. to, 
you know, loving, supportive, open-minded people who just have to accept oh, Kayla, Kayla the way Kayla is. This is what Kayla said. I People are people. It's just, it's We shouldn't be so focused on how they look. Uh, people look the way they look. They can't help it. You should embrace the way you are. You should be confident in the person you are. That's what you, Kayla, you can do whatever the hell you want, but don't dress like that or look like that while you're teaching my child. That's all. Get out. Get out of the school. Very simple. I feel like your post that you did, Megan, about the gynecology and getting your, you know, a pap smear really hit home for so many women. And I feel like they resonated with that. Like being a woman is not just putting on fake breasts and claiming they're real. Like that's, you're right. That is, he's mentally ill, but it's like this idea that men can just mock women, the most sacred parts of who we are. You know, I had mastitis and I felt like I was going to die when I was pregnant, when I, when I was nursing. And, you know, the fact that he can just make up these false claims about his breasts and his nipples, it is so deeply offensive. And we laugh, but it's like, if you really think about it, this is such a war on women. And look, he's protected. He is totally protected. He's the victim. If you try to say you're mentally ill, oh, he'll sue you. That's where we're at society. And that's why we have to push back against this. I love what you said. And it's like, if you... you, (gasps) There was this store on the Upper West Side where I lived when I had my three kids, where if you went in and you, and you asked for, we used to call it a hooter hider, you know, like a modesty shield mm-hmm. for when you're nursing your baby, yeah. they would charge yeah. you a dollar. Because these are Upper West Side liberals who are like, no, show the breast. The breast is not to be sexualized. The breast is an organ that helps yeah. a baby survive. That was a bridge too far for me, but I kind of got a kick out of the whole, you know, messaging. You'd have to put a dollar into their hooter hider jar if you asked for one. But oh it's kind of, it kind of dovetails on what you're saying. And in, yeah. in this way, you know, women of the right who are standing up for this have become the new feminists. Yes. We're, we're there with, with people who are probably in that store feeling very much the same, saying, ladies, we need to stick together on this because that's what you're saying, that the breast is not a sexual organ. The, the breast is there for a real function. It feeds mm-hmm. a baby. It's not to have fake nipples put all over it and br- blown up into these fake enormous sizes shoved in these tight sweaters by a man who teaches children. That's just mm-hmm. weird. There's something that's off so about it. And you well, know, it's it funny because like, when I when like I did that bit, I had just been to the gynecologist, which is why the woman, the, the, the trans woman saying she'd been to the gynecologist was absurd to me. Oh. But on this front, because it's January, I do all my doctor's appointments, you know, annual. I, I just went and got my annual uh, mammography, uh, mammogram. Yeah. And it is, it's another thing where like, the breast can be kind of scary. You know, yes. having breasts is a responsibility and a blessing and it can be kind of scary where you have to sit and you wait and you, you're you with the other ladies in the waiting room and you're kind of tense and you're a little nervous and everybody mm-hmm. realizes what a bad result could mean. And, uh, you know, it's it hurts and they squeeze the breast chills. and you have to do it, yes. right? And then the radiologist comes and you have to go down the hall and sit with him or her. And she tells you like, how'd I do on the exam? Like what what, what bad happened, if any? And do I need a biopsy? All of which I've been through surgical wow. biopsy, very fucking scary. And then you know, a lot of us have dense breasts if you're young in particular, and you got to go sit for an ultrasound. It's, another, oh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. And we've also had the blessing of breastfeeding our babies and understanding the beauty and the love and the sustenance that comes from it. And we don't really want to see our breasts mocked and made into some ridiculous parody by someone yes. who clearly is not mentally well. Going to bed at a decent hour did not always mean I got enough sleep. Maybe you can relate. Oftentimes, I was too hot or too cold or just not comfy. Well, that changed thanks to my cozy earth bedding, the softest, most luxurious, and responsibly sourced bedding on the planet. Cozy earth bedding is naturally temperature regulating, so I sleep great in any weather. And I'm not alone. Laura, she left this five-star review, quote, my husband and I are getting the best sleep we've ever had to the point where we don't wake up in the middle of the night because we're so comfortable. I can't wait to buy more colors, end quote. Cozy Earth Bedding is made from the finest materials, including premium viscose made from highly sustainable bamboo. Whether it's their luxury sheets, available in five beautiful colors, their loungewear, pajamas, or their premium waffle bath towels, you're going to love shopping at Cozy Earth. Hurry, save 35% right now on Cozy Earth. Go to CozyEarth.com, enter my promo code MEGAN, M-E-G-Y-N, and save 35% off your order. CozyEarth.com, promo code M-E-G-Y-N. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.